Okay, here's another video. Um, um, I just want to say here, the the fuckery that happening in um in YouTube and Facebook is ridiculous, man. It's like um, like for instance, like in Facebook, you can't say the N word, but you could get away with all the all the other slurs, you know what I mean? You could say the Asian slurs, you could say the Pakistanians, and uh, other stuff. You can't even say, okay, you can't even talk about Muslims in Facebook. Also, in YouTube, it, shit got ridiculous, you know? Um, you can't say the N-word, or right now I just got ridiculous uh I just got a strike right now and I don't give a fuck. I can make thousands of channels and I don't give a fuck, you know. You guys could you got you you people out there they 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 hating my channel. You could do all of that you want. I'm a, I just going to make channels endlessly. You know, it's going to be echoes, echoes of channels I could make. I don't give a fuck. So anyways, uh, cause I, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get people awake out there cause, um, there's a lot of shit going on and I just want to people to wake up. So anyways, uh, there's this video where this race fading video is just, you know, Typical, typical shit that happening in the ER, you know, race baiting bullshit, and and people don't know that black people could be racist too. So, so anyways, I'm I'm gonna put this video up. Let me show you what happening. Fucking ads. That's like carving a chicken with a handsaw. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful rideshare rebel video of a driver in New York. I, one of my best friends is from the Bronx, New York. I'm gonna go ahead and say this was either in the Bronx or the passengers were from the Bronx. That that accent's very uh, familiar to me. Um, and I mean, obviously, I'll let the video speak for itself. In the Bronx, that's Bronx, where I am. Short, I'm from. Um, Used to be. Okay, here's one to see. These were these uh, black men are running away from. They're running for this type of toxic behavior where f females and African Americans, they want to be treated like men. You know, they be talking to you like a man. You know, they 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 real fucking toxic, man. With this, fe you know, this feminazi bullshit that's been applied in the U.S. to these females. And there's another thing. And I noticed in America, like, this feminist bullshit is just killing, you know, family values, you know, appreciating, like, like females are supposed to be acting like females, you know. I got plenty, you know, I, I have, I seen plenty uh, marine videos where females, they come, they get into a sparring match with guys and they get their ass handed out, you know. I have I have a lot of vet friends that I watch these videos and we we laugh 
you know, crazy when we see this shit. But either way, this is their part of the training. They got to tough, you know, toughen up or whatever, and it helps them out. I ain't saying that women are weak. I'm just saying that this is part of the training. You know, they're supposed to be trained. And in reality, though, you know, men are stronger than women. So I don't know. This bullshit been applied in the U.S. So is you know, it gives this kind of be toxic behavior, and that's why all these, 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 you know, these guys. I don't want to say the S word because I already, uh, I already got reported by these assholes because, you know, they, 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 they are the ones they're oppressing us. You know what I mean? So, anyways, so here we go. You know, and I and and for me, if if like an Afrocentric person make a video, and I don't agree with it. You don't see me like a whiny bitch and report the video or whatever, or speak bad about them. You don't see me doing that. You only see these assholes doing it because they're fucking bitches. So anyways, I'm going to put this video up. So continue the video. And you know, you know, my family, we have, we have, you know, it pisses me off because this guy is Asian and I'm very tight with the Asian community. I'm very tight with the, what do you call the, the Italians, you know, I'm very tight with, you know, with people and, you know, I agree there's bad people and good people, but in the U S people got this, this mentality this uh, brainwash bullshit that been going in the U.S. and anybody just been following and shit, and I don't agree with it because every we ju- we are just becoming a consumer. We're just becoming a brainless consumer. So these profit these you know elite globalists could profit off for us. You know that's all they're doing, and you know, and black people being used like pawns just so they could be a consumer, like. I don't want to give my more examples, but let me just continue the video. Wow. He just refused them and then he kept on coming.
to stay active on the platform. Okay, so the pastor, he stopped, right? Um, the family checks in the car. He tells them swiftly, he's like, he tells them, you've got too many people and you're not going to fit in this car. He had, one, there was five, it looked like three adults, one teenager, and one small child. So obviously, even without the small child, he had more people in the car than he had seatbelts. So that's already that's already him breaking the law if he took that ride. Um, the next one, obviously, that small child required a booster seat or a car seat. They didn't have one. That's right. He was perfectly in his right to deny them the ride. He didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. He told them to order an XL. They started showing him attitude. All this happened. Um, and they tried playing it like, oh, no, it's my... They started doing the whole thing, which I don't really like, where they started talking down the driver. was like, no, you're an Uber actually, You have to do this. Like, that's the thing now that he's before. It's like, no, you're, you're my driver. You're my monkey. You know, do as you're told kind of mentality, which I can't stand. Uh, but he kept on disagreeing. told him, like, no, you cannot. I'm not giving you this ride. But okay, I'm going to skip this video, you know. Another thing, in this YouTube platform, you cannot... Say the N word, but then when you look at this man on this video, it says chink. Wow, you can't say you can't say that you know the, the N word like this Asian rapper can't say the N word as he's singing. You know, we they consider that's another thing, black uh, radical Haitian. You were saying about that Asians are not considered minorities in your videos. You fucking idiot. But anyway, this rapper, you know, they will talk. There's a video here. They talking about that. You know, he can't. You know, he he uses the n word because he hangs out with, you know, black people. Because you know. Every, everybody that's minority is black and it, it's just retarded, you know? Okay, I'm gonna just end the video.